Good day, students. Today, we're going to show you the basics of how fitzing works. And once you know the basics, it's quite easy and quick to build circuits using fritzing. First, you're going to use fritzing.org, which is the compatible operating system. Then, download the latest version. You're going to install it. Then, once you install it, here is the the home screen of the software of Fritzing. First, let us tackle the basics of Fritzing. So you go to the breadboard, click the breadboard. So this is the main layout. Then these are the these are the components that you can use to build your desired circuitry. So as you can see, these are organized. There are the four core parts, which are the basic parts, the inputs, outputs, and these are the Arduino boards, and many more. So let us build our basic basic circuit first. First, let us find the breadboard. So if you cannot find the breadboard, use the search bar. So you search breadboard and enter. Now you can see different breadboards, but we're going to use this. Uh, this is the breadboard, as you can see. If you want to move the breadboard anywhere in the screen or the main layout page, just simply left click the breadboard and then drag it anywhere on the screen here or here like that in putting the wires you can connect those by inserting this on the holes these are the holes of the breadboard as you can see but before that you should understand basically how these holes are laid out as you can see there are blue lining at the top of the breadboard these are the blue lining of the top of the breadboard. These blue lines, blue lines, blue lines holes. If you are going to open it, the breadboard, they are connected to each other. Same as with the red line here. These holes are connected with each other too, and the rest. The holes are connected vertically just like this group of holes. So let's try to build a circuit using Fritzing. So again, these are the components. First, we need to connect the breadboard. So the blue is connected to to the other part of I mean the the blue hole is connected to the other region blue hole other blue hole region we're going to connect it like this like this we're going to color it black next we need to connect the the red hole to another red hole the going to this and this and we're going to color it red next let us try to find a uh, source of um, source of power source of power for our circuit so if you if you want to 
search it easily just uh, search it in the search bar then type batteries battery now you can see different types of batteries and the one that we are going to use is this the 9 volt battery As you can see, there are red and black wires in the battery, that which means the red wire is connected to the red wire. And the black wire is connected to the black one. Alright. Next is, we need to find, uh, we need to put a resistor. So go to the core basic parts. And if you want, then if you want to customize the the resistor, you can go to this section, inspector section, go to properties, then click resistance, then you can change the total of resistor. Can, you can modify the resistor now in this case we need 330 ohm resistor and press enter okay now you can let me know how to edit resistors and then lastly we need the output so we need this like this and we to preserve this here, here, and then this should be connected to to here, and this should be connected to here. So this is the black one, and that's it. That's the that's that's how you create a very basic uh, circuit using Fritzing. Now let's move on to a more advanced advanced type of circuitry using Fritzing. So let's do it. No, we don't need to actually do this really. So stick to here and delete this and then delete this uh, we we are going to use uh, the Arduino an Arduino board for this advanced type of circuit so just going to put this here and then here so uh, so yeah just like before we need to connect this in the red one red one and this in the blue or the black one then uh, we are going to search for the pin 7 which means this is the pin 7 so we're going to connect it in the red one I'm going to label it red Red. Then the ground is connected to the blue or black one. Okay. So this is uh, what you will going to see in the breadboard section. But since we are using Arduino, we need to we need to write code. 
for it to for it to run so the code for this circuit will be I'm going to type the code for the circuit so void setup We're going to type pin mode seven right here. We're going to type output spelling output then here. Closing bracket. Another. And the void loop. Void loop. So before before we continue, I will go into. Uh, under the void setup, I'm going to explain briefly what's in the void setup and the void loop. So under the void setup, these are the uh, these are these are the lines or codes that are uh, that are only run one time. That only run one time. Once it runs, it will yeah, it will never run again. I mean, it will never run again unless you restart the you restart the simulation of your circuit. And under in under the void loop section, this is where the this is where you write codes that that are repeatedly running during the simulation. So yeah, just a brief explanation for that. So I'm going to write digital write like this. Seven. Hi. Hi meaning open. Delay one thousand and next is digital right. Then low, low meaning it's it's off. Then delay two thousand. Then closing bracket. And that's it. That's it. Then I'm going to show you the schematic for the breadboard for circuitry. And this is what the schematic looks like of the circuitry that we made. And the 
PCB here are here is the PCB of the circuit that we made for our activity try to build the circuit using these components on Fritzing 9 volt power source resistor lead slide switch and Arduino Uno R3. That's all for the basics of printing. Thank you.